Um, this isn't true. When did you start to turn away from Islam or, or I mean, what made you begin to pursue Christianity? Okay, the, 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 while I was working in a Muslim masjid as an imam, uh, as a parish priest, once I preached in my parish that Jesus Christ is not God. For me, God was only Allah. And I believe Allah never married, so no son for Allah. So I preached there that Jesus is not God. Then somebody asked me, who is Jesus? From the crowd. Maybe a Muslim, but he asked me, who is Jesus? I was preaching he is not God. But the question, who is he? To know who is he, I read the entire Quran once again. 114 chapters, 6,666 verses in Quran. When I read it, the name of Prophet Muhammad I found in Quran four places, but the name of Jesus I found 25 places. There itself I was a little confused. Why Quran giving more preference for Jesus? And second thing, I could not see any women's name in Quran, Prophet Muhammad's mother name or wife's name or children's name, no. In the Quran there is only one woman name I found, Maryam, the mother of Jesus. No other woman name. And in the Holy Quran chapter 3, the name of the chapter is Family of Maryam. And the Holy Quran chapter 19, the name of the chapter itself is Maryam. One chapter is Maryam. So I was very curious to know why this Quran says all these things. About Maryam, Holy Quran chapter 3 verses 34 onwards says that Mary was born without original sin. She never committed any sin in her life. She was ever virgin. Uh, Quran chapter 50 verses 23 says that she went to heaven with her physical body. Even the assumption is written in Holy Quran. And then about Jesus, when I read chapter 3 verses 45 to 55 verses, there are 10 points which Quran makes about Jesus. The first in Quran says Kalimatullah, the Arabic word which means word of God. And the second thing Ruhullah which means spirit of God. And the third is Isal Masih which means Jesus Christ. So Quran gives the name for Jesus, word of God, spirit of God, Jesus Christ. And then Quran says that Jesus spoke when he was very small, like two days old after his birth. He began to speak. Quran says that Jesus created a live bird with mud. He took some mud, formed a bird, when he breathed into it, became a live bird. So I think that he can give life. He give life to a mud, clay. And then Quran says that Jesus cured a man born blind and a man with leukoderma, leprosy, etc. Continuously, Quran says that Jesus gave life to dead people. Jesus went to heaven, he is still alive and he will come again. When I saw all these things in Quran, my thinking was what the Quran says about uh, Muhammad. You know, according to Quran, Prophet Muhammad is not the word of God, not the spirit of God, never spoke when he was two days old, never created any bird with mud, never cured any sick people, never raised any dead people. He himself died and according to Islam, he is not alive and he will not come back. So there is a lot of difference between these two prophets. I, I, I don't call Jesus as God, you know. My idea was he's a prophet, but he's a prophet greater than Muhammad. So one day I went to my teacher, the one who taught me 10 years in Arabic college, and I asked him, teacher, how the God created the universe? Then he said, God created the universe through the word. Through the word. Then my question, word is creator or creation? Must clear it. My question, whether the word of God is creator or creation. Quran says Jesus is word of God. If my teacher said the word of God is creator, which means Jesus is creator, then the Muslims must become Christian. Suppose if he said the word is creation, he will be trapped. You know why? He said everything created through the word. Suppose if he said the word is creation, then how the God created the word? Wow. So he cannot say the word is creator, cannot say the word is creation. So he was quite angry. He pushed me out of his room and said, word is not the creator, not the creation. You get out from me, he said. If you see things so clearly, why don't all Muslims convert to Christianity? Why don't they accept this? They, they say the word is creation. They try to prove. They say the word is not the creator, not the creation, but uh, not God. Not God. Not the, not the creator, not the creation. So not God and not creation also. So they don't equal with God. That's all their problem. So then when he said that, I told my teacher, word is not the creator, not the creation. That is why Christian says word is son of God. Then he told me if there is a son for God, I must show him the wife of God. Without wife, no chance for having a son. Then I showed a portion from the Quran. Quran says that God can see without eyes. 
God can talk without tongue. God can hear without ears. It's written in Quran. I said, if that is the case, he can have a child without a wife. So there we have a big argument. And you know, at the end, what I did, I took my Quran, kept on my chest, and I said, Allah, tell me what should I do? Because your Quran says Jesus is still alive, Muhammad is no more. You tell me whom should I accept? After my prayer, I opened Quran. I didn't ask anyone, I asked only to my Allah. When I opened Quran, I saw chapter 10, verse 94. You know what Quran says? فَإِن كُمْتُمْ فِي شَكِّمْ مِمَّا أَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ فَاسْأَلِ الَّذِينَ يَقْرَأُونَ الْكِتَابَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَقَدْ جَاءَكَ الْحَقِّ If you have any doubt in this Quran which I give to you, go and read the Bible or ask the people, those who read the Bible. The truth is already revealed in that. So if you ask me, who made me Christian? It's not any fathers, it's not any sisters, it's not any bishops, it's not any cardinal, it's not even Pope. But the Holy Quran converted me to Christianity.